Hi developers, so user login UI is ready which we created in last part and now we will integrate the API with that uh, user login UI, right? And uh, these are the steps that we will follow in this video. So first of all, we will make a function inside service file for calling API. After that, we will write code to call API and handle the response also. And we need to set the user data in local storage so that we can use uh, that user data after reloading and refreshing our application, right? And at the last, we will test the complete flow for login and logout also. And uh, now let's jump on the code and uh, we can open the user service.ps file. So here I'm just creating one more function. Uh, and let's say function name is uh, user login. And uh, here we can get the data with any parameter like uh, parameter name is also same like data. The type of this data is login. This is the type of interface which is we just created in the uh, data type file, right? So after that, we can simply use their cat API to match the data. So just use here this dot http dot get and here we will put the API URL, but we don't know the API URL. So let me just show you that one also. So this is the, our base URL for uh, json server here we have uh, sailor product and user all apis so i am just opening the user api so we have four users for a moment and now let's say you want to just uh, uh, log in with the anil right so for that you can do that like uh, uh, email is anil at the rate uh, user.com and we also need to match the password so let's put there uh, and password is abc123 so now we can see that this is the user data so we can use the, that api for users right for uh, login users so now let's uh, for a moment just copy this and paste is uh, inside the get function as a first parameter with the back ticks right and uh, we can just use make this uh, email id and password dynamic uh, with uh, dollar open and close bracket with the data dot email as well as password and it will be let's say dollar uh, data dot password right and after that we can uh, pass their uh, second parameter also which will be let me just put their comma and uh, second parameter will be observe and if you want to observe the response so just simply put their response all right and uh, after that what we can do simply we can just use their subscribe of this function and you know that this will uh, basically return a callback function so i'm just just simply putting their result so the type of the data that will return by api uh, will be uh, sign up right and that will be, be a array so now we can just check that if result uh, is true then we can just uh, console dot one there like what we are getting inside the result dot body because in our result dot body is basically a key inside that uh, result object right so let me open one more thing guys we have to call this function inside the user auth so i'm just opening the user auth dot ts uh, file so inside the login function let's call that uh, user login service function so just this dot user dot user login and let's pass their data great now we can uh, just check inside our network like api is calling or not so i am just simply using their anil at the rate uh, user.com and password is abc123 so if i'm just clicking on the login you can see that one api is calling and is this is returning some data right so we can store this data in local storage right so what we can do there simply so now let's let's get back to the service file and here we can simply use this if condition right because uh, uh, that will be the same and we don't want to waste the time to just write it again and here uh, just keep in mind we we are getting data inside the uh, zeroth array all right 
and uh, here you can see that again we got the array like uh, body uh, could be null so we can check that if as well as result dot body is defined right if they have some data and after that we can just check everything is working fine or not so now uh, let's just go to the application and here you can see that we don't have any user data there so again i'm just using okay so let's use the hidden this time as a user abc123 is a password i'm just clicking on a login and you can see that user is logged in and here we have the option for uh, uh, log out and the name of user also so let's just log out this and try to uh, log in with the anil at the rate user password will be abc123 and again you can see that this is working completely fine all right so that's all for this part and uh, one more thing so if you just try to access the user auth now so that you can't access because you handle that condition in the sign up with sign up api all right and if i'm just clicking on the logout button we are just redirecting to the user login option all right so in next part we will uh, just because in complete series we did not create any validation form validation uh, part and all so in next part we will create the validation like email validation for uh, uh login and password password validation as well as if we have if we don't have any data that is not matching with the credential that we put there so we will handle all of these condition in next part so thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and uh, share your feedback in comment section thank you guys